Hi, my name is Sean Pardesi. I'm a detective with the Pearl, Mississippi Police Department Special Operations Division assigned to a federal task force conducting criminal and terrorism interdiction duties. I'm also the co-founder of Global Counter Smuggling Training Consultants, which provides training in the realm of interdiction and terrorism detection to law enforcement officers throughout the North America. What I'm going to talk to you today about is some equipment uh, that is used by criminal interdiction officers as well as uh, border patrol officers at checkpoints, customs at the point of entry, and other individuals involved in detecting contraband. Now, from a, uh, from a law enforcement perspective as how, how we view, or I would personally view the uh, type of equipment that I need, there are several things that I take into consideration. Number one is the ease of use. Number two is the technology. Uh, is it uh, reliable? Is it going to assist me in uh, performing my duties more efficiently? Is it going to have uh, uh, better results? And also the cost. Uh, as well as uh, liability issues, uh, training uh, aspect of it, and uh, officer safety. Will the particular equipment put me in a position of disadvantage as an officer out on the roadside? And uh, things of that nature that has to be taken into consideration. The newest product that uh, uh, I have been able to use with from uh, uh, Campbell Security or Seco is the video scope. And what I'm going to talk about here is the actual video scope and how uh, this uh, scope, as compared to the standard uh, normal scope, is far more superior. And it also uh, addresses a lot of the problems or a lot of the issues that I personally uh, would see as uh, somewhat of a problematic at the side of the road, number one being officer safety. Uh, utilizing any form of scope, it required an officer to look inside an eyepiece while trying to focus the attention on what's being set. With the actual uh, video scope, uh, this particular aspect is now eliminated because uh, the uh, scope can be inserted into an a area of uh, interest and the officer can actually hold the handheld device in his hand utilizing high video, high quality video and be able to not only observe what is being seen inside the uh, uh, concealment area or the suspected concealment area but also it allows for the officer to be able to have a clear view of what's going on around. When it comes to the uh, video scope, uh, there are several different features that I personally like about this. Number one is the articulation still remains as compared to the uh, FV or the FO scope, uh, which, which allows you to manipulate the head and the camera as you're observing what's being seen on the screen, just as you would with the other scopes, uh, eliminating the requirement to have an eyepiece that drives. Um, some of the other features that I found extremely important is the clarity of the uh, picture. Another option, or some of the other options is, I'm also able to dim the screen, I'm also able to dim the light that is illuminated um, at the end of the scope. I can dim it, so if I have inserted it in an area where there's a lot of uh, um, uh, backlight, or it reflects back and it kind of gives you a bit of a... Uh, difficulty to try to determine what you're looking at, it actually allows me to dim the light to have a better clear a picture of what I'm uh, observing and try to eliminate suspicious areas. Um, another uh, good part about or another good option that this scope provides is the ability to zoom. Uh, sometimes uh, there's only a limited area and you can only place the scope in a certain area and you can only go so far because of bends or things are in the way. Uh, this also actually gives you the opportunity to actually have a digital zoom to where if you're not able to uh, arrive at the location where you're trying to see, but it's within view, you can zoom in and be, get a clearer picture of what is being seen through this video scope. Now with that said, on the right side, it allows you the ability to take still images of contraband or anomalies. It allows you to do a video recording, so if you have inserted the head inside of a concealment and you see contraband packages from one side to the other or you see some other anomalies and you want a video recorded for the purpose of the court system and to introduce it to the jury or evidentiary process or whatever the case may be, it allows you to do that, which also downloads it into an, uh, uh, an, uh, a thumb drive or a, or a small uh, you, 
storage device, which can be downloaded and stored uh, as evidence uh, later on during the investigation. As a law enforcement officer, as someone that would request this, uh, sometimes administrators have a question as to what is the liability behind uh, utilizing this? What can it be used for? Especially with a scope like this that gives you the ability to submerge it into fuel, diesel, gas tanks because uh, it is uh, uh, one that can be submerged into fuel without damaging it. Um, what uh, Campbell Security has done is has gone through the certification process through the UL lab, um, underwriters, underwriters lab, which puts the equipment that's being used by government entities or any type of uh, 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 big corporation to a certain test to make sure that it is uh, going to withstand certain standards uh, as far as being dangerous or anything that's hazardous. And this particular product has been certified and carries that certification with it. So with proper training and proper deployment, uh, it will uh, minimize any type of risk to the agency or liability.